What's up, you guys? Thank you for stopping by and joining me for this Worthy of Wellness segment. This is Gabriel Vision Tune Lamette here, and I'm really excited to be able to share with you guys briefly the importance of training smart. Um, over the years, I have done many types of workout, and this would date back to me being a kid, um, and I always struggled with being able to work out and get results, um, as well as once I was into being in high school and college, all those different things. And um, sometimes we don't have the mindset of really doing our homework on what's going to allow us to get the results we're looking for. So uh, for instance, I remember as being a kid, uh, I would get those muscle uh, men and health uh, fitness magazines. And I remember there was some product that the wrestler Triple H was um, endorsing. And back then I was really heavily into WWF at that time. And so I was like, wow, well, maybe if I start taking this supplement, you know, I'll get ripped like uh, Triple H did. And I saved my little pennies because back then I didn't have a lot of money, definitely. And I sat there and bought it and it definitely did not work. And so what I would do back then, because you didn't really have the internet to really get um, any kind of testimonials or hear from people who've actually talked about the product and the true benefit that it did for them. You just br practically went off of those very creative ads that they had back in the magazine. And so I purchased it and I did that several times growing up from being a teen all the way into being in college. And I never really got any of the results I was looking for based on what I thought was going to happen because of the ad that I saw. And so, um, you know, nowadays it's a lot different where you can really do your homework when you're starting to do a particular workout. You can get true testimonials, not the paid advertisement testimonials, but on YouTube and things like that, you're able to hear firsthand the um, reaction people have to doing certain fitness programs. Another thing that I would say would be smart in uh, training right and training wise would be if your body has certain elements that you know take effect when you just do regular things. So like for me, I had a lot of issues with my knees and with my ankles. And what I started to do was I started getting um, compression braces for my knees and for my ankles so when I worked out, um, I could recover a lot better. And so me doing those things has allowed for me to have more longevity to my workouts versus me getting injured and then now I'm down for the count and I can't do anything else. And you have to listen to your body as it's telling you to do things because if you want to be able to last in fitness because fitness is more of a marathon than a sprint, you have to do it and train wise. You know, I remember sometimes when I would stop working out and then I'd be like, oh, I got to get back on. I got to get back on it. And then I would sit there and do one of the hardest workouts that I had and then I would injure myself. And then now I can't work out for a whole nother month because I've injured myself or I've got too much swelling or too much ankle pains and things like that. Or I would push through it anyway and then be taking a lot of ibuprofen and things like that. And those things are just not going to allow you to steadily meet your goal. It's not that you have to get to your goal tomorrow. Even if you get to your goal in a year, but you were able to maintain the lifestyle because it's a training of mind, uh, I have found that to be much more beneficial than feeling like I have to just jump in and be an immediate superhero within fitness. Um, another thing that I have found to be beneficial within training um, has been making sure that I do not skip those times where you stretch. I used to do the workouts and because I didn't plan my time properly, I would do the workout and then I would just be done and I'd be out. Not giving my uh, body a chance to stretch back out so that I can recover and return the next day much better. And I cannot express to you clearly um, more than what I'm saying right now that you have to take the time to do those recovery portions of it. Don't skip the stretching. Make time for the stretching because it's going to only allow you to come back and be better for your next day's fitness. And overall, again, it'll help you within the marathon of fitness versus the sprint that some people feel that fitness is. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope some of these little tips will help you. And I hope that, you know, if you have found certain things that you have um, 
learned to kind of skip and go around that in the long run you found out later was not beneficial, leave a comment so I can hear those things because um, I know I'm not the only one who has decided to cheat or not pay attention as I'm doing my fitness and workout and I'd love to hear some of your stories as well. So thank you guys again for joining me. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and share this video and I'll be seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.